LD Technology is working to provide innovative product solutions for today's medical practice. We are combining technology and information to assess the autonomic nervous system, pseudomotor function, and endothelial function. TM Oxy system and Pseudopath systems are FDA cleared medical devices. Autonomic nervous system assessment is recommended by the American Diabetes Association and largely documented by recognized institutions and numerous peer reviews. This video will show you how to assess the autonomic nervous system in only a few minutes in your office. Oxy system is comprised of three connectors. First, the blood pressure cuff is connected using the following plug-in. Second, the TM OxyBox needs to be connected to the computer via USB cable. And third, the pulse oximeter connects to the back of the TM OxyBox. The pseudopath system is comprised of two connectors. First, the pseudopath box needs to be connected to the computer via USB cable. Second, the foot plate is connected via the blue cable to the box with the plug showing the foot symbol. The other side of the blue cable connects to the foot plate, the red end of the cable to the left side and the black end to the right side. If any of the connectors are not properly connected, the software will display a warning message. Make sure to respect the position of the blood pressure cuff as shown here. Connect the pulse oximeter to the right index finger of the patient and place the patient's feet onto the foot electrode pad. Patient is sitting straight and relaxed, left arm on the table with palm up. To register a patient, you will need to enter the patient's first and last name, gender, and date of birth. On the next page, you will need to enter the patient's weight, height, and activity level. Clinical information of the patient can also be entered, such as symptoms, diseases, and treatment. Patient is sitting relaxed and breathing normally. Heart rate pulse wave, and blood pressure are adjusted at this time. Patient should stay in the same relaxed position. Heart rate, pulse wave, and beat-to-beat -beat blood pressure are recorded at rest. At this time, pseudomotor function Stimulation procedure is occurring. Make sure to remove the foot plate away from the patient. It is now time to explain to the patient how to perform the Valsalva maneuver. Once the patient is ready, click start and the patient is asked to take a deep breath. While holding it in, close the mouth, Pinch the nose shut and press out as if blowing up a balloon without releasing any air. Using a software timer, hold for 15 seconds and then breathe out forcefully. Place the left arm back on the table with palm up. The patient's blood pressure is taken again. The software analyzes the sympathetic and parasympathetic responses during the Valsalva maneuver. It is time to explain to the patient how to perform the deep breathing procedure. Once the patient is ready, click start and using the software timer, have the patient adjust his breathing. 
Slowly inhale for five seconds and exhale for five seconds. Repeat three times. Software is recording the change in heart rate during this procedure. It is time to explain to the patient how to perform the standing procedure. Advise the patient that his right hand must not move during this phase. Left arm remains relaxed, palm up. Click start only once the patient stands up. Heart rate and beat to beat blood pressure are recorded to assess sympathetic and parasympathetic responses to the postural change. The results can immediately be printed using the report icon.